In this episode, we travel north to find new, fantastic spots to play paddle on. Oh, I need to learn how to say paddle in uh, Finnish. We meet Finland's top player Max Sjöval and the famous actor Mikko Leppilampi. We'll go to one of the biggest paddle centers in the world, as well as checking if people in Helsinki know about paddle. What? Paddle? Welcome to Paddle on Tour. We're in Finland, in Helsinki, the land of the Thousand Lakes. Famous for saunas, ice hockey and being the happiest country in the world. The Republic of Finland is a Nordic country located in the northern part of Europe. Finland is bilingual, with Finnish and Swedish as the two main official languages. In addition, there are two minority languages, Sami and Romani. Our first stop by the Baltic Sea is to meet and play a game with the best paddle player in the country, Max Hörla. I've played paddle for maybe seven, eight years now. And uh, as most paddle players, I have a pretty strong tennis background. Played uh, 20 years tennis and started playing paddle maybe in 2015. And it was actually at these courts the first time yeah, I played. This is the oldest courts in Finland. Yeah, I would say these are the first courts that uh, have been set not to be taken away for the winter or something like that. And it's a lovely spot here. Yeah, it's beautiful. You're playing in the national team, uh, playing for Finland in the, the Euros last year. Where is uh, Finland on the map of Pavel in five years? Sweden, it's always a good example. Yep. We're maybe three, four, five years behind them in the battle evolution. So I would say that uh, right now as a national team in the European Championships, we've been usually around top 10. We're certainly getting better every year. Like a few years ago, we only had maybe one, two good pairs, and now we're coming up to three, four good pairs, which is important in a team tournament. It's interesting with Pavel, because everybody said it's so easy, and it's very easy in the beginning, yeah. but would you say it's more difficult in the end? Yeah, I mean, the more you learn, the more you realize how difficult the sport is, you know, when you go and play against someone who is really good, they make fun of you because they know exactly what to do, where to hit a shot, and once you get better and better, you learn where to hit the ball and where not to hit the ball and how to build up a point. I would say that most players in Finland still maybe not really build up the point, they just play, you know, reactively and uh, when you go abroad you really see how much build-up there is. Do you think we can see a younger generation of paddle players here in Finland in the future? Yeah, it's happening right now. For example, it's my club Paddle House. Three years ago when we started our junior practices we had maybe 20 and uh, last year about 50 and now I think we'll get up to 100. So that's I think the most important thing for the sport to grow is to have juniors coming in and uh, in five ten years you really need to have a good smash because I think there's not going to be a single player on tour who can't smash from the baseline. If we go into the city center, do the people know about Paddle? It's for sure growing in Finland. It would be fun to see a Paul. You're going to do it? Yeah. Okay, nice. <laughs> but I would say uh, five years ago, maybe one out of ten yeah. would have known the sport. And uh, if you would have said, you know, paddling in the sea, you know, that's usually a, yeah. a, a normal answer to paddle. In this. But uh, I would say my guess, maybe 50%. Yeah, well, let's check, check it out. Before we check out our well-known paddle in Helsinki, we're going to one of the very few clubs close to the city center, the Social Sports Club. The facility has three courts, a gym, a golf simulator, a cryo cabin, a sauna of course, and a nice hangout area with a bar. I think we started really thinking of this social side of it, not just making a paddle center, just making a club and how to get people connected is, is I, I think it's more the social side. We have game groups. Some of them are based on friends. We're trying to get people to join in the WhatsApp groups and, and announcing the games in there. And having the games has brought in more people. And it's more like Paddle Americano or Mexicano. Not that much of a real tournaments. It's, it's more like fun play. What about Paddle in general here in Helsinki and in Finland? I think it's still growing. And I think it's evolving somehow too. We will see more people coming in to just a hobby, but I think more people also having the more competitive side on it. Hello. Hello. Do you know what paddle is? What? Paddle? Uh, it is the sport they do somewhere there. Have you played it? No, no. Why not? Uh, I don't know, maybe I should try, because I've heard about it a lot, but haven't tried it yet. Hey, excuse me guys, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you know what paddle is? Sorry? Paddle. Paddle? 
paddle the sport. Paddle? Yes. Paddle? Yeah? Yes? Yes. Now, have you played it? Yes. Oh, padel. On the yes. Yeah. Yes. They say padel here. No, no, no padel. 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 So I need to learn uh, how to say padel in uh, Finnish. Padel. Do you know what padel is? Yes. Yeah. Have you played it? No. Padel. Yes, I know. Yeah, I've seen it. Padel. Yes, for sure. Padel. No. No? N never heard about it? Uh, never. Have you played it? No. Huh? But my children has. Uh... Okay. Have you played it? Yes, three times three this times. summer. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 I played it. What do you think about it? I like it very much. I like it a lot. It sounds like most other people have heard about Puddle, but haven't played yet. With other words, a great potential for a lot of new players in Finland. It's time to leave the city center of Helsinki for a few hours and go on a road trip southwest for today's second game with Morris, Riku and Miku. We are in, in Hanko, the most southern part of Finland, and this is a summer vacation city. You know, it lives up in the summer, in the winter it's quite dead, but courts are very popular in the summertime. We didn't get a building permit for this uh, premises, so we came up with a solution where we actually use a system that is used for building terraces and we made a steel frame and then we have some pressed Italian stone that the carpet is laying on. And the good thing is with this, the ground doesn't have to be even and still the court is level and nice and it's movable. So if we, for some reason, can't continue here, we can take it to some other place. A lot of courts are building outside. Yeah, we have quite a few courts outside and people like to play outside. I think originally the sport was an outside sport. And it's easier to build outside, like the location is a problem here in Finland or? Yeah, it's hard to find good premises. That's always an issue, especially in the capital area. So it's very difficult. In the city, there's only two clubs. Yeah. Most of them are outskirts of Helsinki. So, so that's always a challenge. Can you tell me a little bit more about how you work in Matchai to build up a community? Well, Matchai, of course, started like a regular booking system. And of course, since then, we have added a lot of different things to, to Matcha. We have uh, the paddle board where we can run uh, tournaments. We have the backhand slash with where we can do a different kind of leagues and all that. We have Matchai TV where the player can stream and watch the game afterwards. They can post them, they can share them. People want to spend time after the matches, analyze them. The coaches can look at the material, they can improve their game. So it, I think it's an important part of the, of the whole business. What is unique for Matcha is it's actually combining the membership and the business. You know, you usually you have a association within the club that do their own thing. But you know, now they all work on the same platform. Everybody knows what's going on. You can set up the training planner, you can set up the, the coaching sessions, you can do everything. And everything is there for everybody to see. So that makes it much easier. A lot of clubs might have three or four different systems that they are running. So Matchai kind of combines all that into one system. And I think that's unique. My background for sports is in ice hockey, as it is for most of the Finnish guys. And uh, all of my friends started playing padel, and uh, it just seemed so fun because they had these like WhatsApp groups, and like it was so social. And I was out of it, yeah. kind of like I was like, "Where is everyone?" And like, "Why? Why don't I see these guys anymore?" It's like, I was you don't play, padel. yeah, come to the games, man." Like, the sport is like getting harder and harder when you get better in a exactly, in a, yeah, yeah. And it, then you start understanding it, yeah. like more. First, it feels like okay. This is so much easier than tennis or yeah. you know something like that so that it's uh very approachable so that's why it's, i love it because everybody can jump in it and uh, actually have some sort of a game going on but once you start understanding like you think you're getting better you just realize how much worse you are yeah. social are the word for this episode here in finland because everyone is saying like it's so social with, with paddle and everything yeah. but how social is this sport? It's just like become a really cool lifestyle that we do instead of just going to like a restaurant or bars to hang out and meet people, we go and play paddle and organize these tournaments. And after that, you can have a couple of beers and like a dinner and whatever. Yeah. Like. From one seaport to another, here back in Helsinki, we find a court as close to the water as possible. We're just outside of Helsinki and it's a floating 
paddle court. So here, you can pick up the ball from here, like this. If you do a por cuatro or por tres, like this. Easy, easy, easy. Wonderful uh, location for some paddle. A bit windy, but today it's a, it's a great day, but a, a little bit windy. But uh, yeah, I can imagine some days it can be really, really hard to play here. Here you can take the jet skis to a paddle court just outside of Helsinki. Wonderful. What a day in Finland for such beautiful spots for paddle. Last but not least on this trip, we're about to visit Max Schöval's home club. We're at uh, Paddle House, one of the biggest paddle centers in the world, actually. That's what we have heard. With 33 courts divided into two halls, including three courts outside, Paddle House is Finland's biggest paddle venue by far. It all started in 2019. The only paddle hall in Finland at those days were about one kilometer away from here. Sasu Melanen, uh, my co-founding partner and myself, uh, we were a little bit upset because it was so hard to find bookings. So we were joking that maybe we need to set up our own club in order to be able to play. And uh, 1st of November 2019, we opened up this venue with uh, nine courts. But uh, Pada was really booming then and there was so much demand. And it was only our second day when all the nine courts were already fully booked. And uh, we were lucky enough to be on the premises where we were able to expand. And within a year, we already had 18 courts here. And every time we opened up the new courts, they were immediately fully booked. It was just amazing how every single day when we were coming in here, we saw new faces and new people that we had never seen. We were just wondering how on earth they, they found their way here. We already have more than 10,000 registered customers. And uh, also we founded a club which is responsible for organizing the trainings, which is very important. Five years from now, where is Finland on the paddle map in the world? Well, of course, we keep improving and developing all the time, but so do others. So, of course, we, we try to keep up with that development. But when it comes to the club operations and the training and all that, we are still taking the first steps and there's a lot to do on that side. And of course, if we want to continue growing the sport and developing the sport, we really need to put a more, lot more emphasis on the, on the club operation side. And we need to be able to attract even more people to the sport. Social, it's a word I've heard in every place we have visited here in Finland. Here, paddle is not just about who has the best smash but being able to relax and hang out with your friends after the match. And that's shown at the facilities we visited here. Instead of maximizing the space with courts, the halls have also focused on the social aspect around the courts. So where will Finland be on the map of paddling five years time? I think the country is at the start of something bigger.